The first two presentations have been from students who've been in the first year, but now this, this final presentation is from a student who's had a lot of experience through university, and I'd like to introduce her. Her name is Dipti Patel, so I'll, I'll pass over to Dipti now. Hello. Okay, my name is Dipti, and I'm, I'm deaf myself. I graduated, uh, and I was successful. I'd like to um, tell you a little bit about myself. I'm 24 years old, um, and I'm profoundly deaf, and I grew up deaf. And I grew up with two languages um, at home as well. Um, my parents are hearing, so we used a, a variety of gesture, English, um, Hindu, and sign language as I was growing up. I went to university in 2008. Uh, and I went to the University of Central Lancashire in Preston. And I did a foundation degree to start with, and that was really um, before formally starting at university. So I did um, deaf education, sociology, psychology, and, and deaf studies. So I was doing research and going to presentations and workshops and learning in a variety of different ways. And it was a very different experience from being at college. At college, there was a lot more support. And then it seemed at university, I had to become a lot more independent and learn how to cope with that. So I finished my foundation um, one year qualification, and I passed that. So I was very happy. And I applied to start a full degree, a BA, in deaf studies um, with, combined with education. So um, it, was a it was a dissertation, and I was doing research, and, and basically I had to write something in the final year um, on a subject of interest, something that had interested me over the past three years, to hopefully aim to an MA level in the future. So in the second year I did Deaf Studies and Education, and I also did my BSL Level 3 qualification as well. And then in the third year I did Deaf Studies, BSL, and also Level 6. And, and that was great. I had loads of support there, and they provided um, very good quality interpreters and note takers. And, you know, there, there might be electric note takers or manual note takers, both, whatever was available at the time. And I had a language support tutor as well. Uh, and I had somebody who was a consistent over the, over the time. If I wasn't happy with somebody, I could inform the disability um, ad office or the disability advisor, and that was my right. But I was happy with the provision I had over the three years. Uh, so I was given the timetable and then I'd have to, you know, sort out booking interpreters and, you know, lecture rooms and so on and informing people. Um, but the course tutor was the person who linked with the disability officer. So it meant that I didn't have that responsibility of contacting interpreters and so on at that time. So there was... Um, Deaf studies, there were some deaf students and some hearing students, but the hearing students were particularly deaf aware. And then there was education as well, and people were very deaf aware in the education um, lectures as well. Before I arrived, the tutor for the deaf education used to give me um, some resources beforehand, so videos and so on with, with subtitles, or they'd give me some uh, transcripts before I arrived, so I was able to with an interpreter, have access to that information um, in BSL or through subtitles, whichever option I preferred. And also, with the three years, the BA ons, um, I really feel through that three years, through the university experience, um, I felt I grew so much from, you know, firstly arriving from college, um, growing to become more independent and getting involved in the social life and mixing with people and also studying at the same time. The second year, um, I had a bit less social life uh, because I was focusing more on my studies. Um, and then again in, in my final year, it was hard work, but I've got to say it was well worth it and I thoroughly enjoyed it. <coughs> so it seems that I've 
been able to gain that independence and I've, I've been able to research and meet with friends and tutors and I've built up a great support network. And also it's been a great opportunity for me to go to university as well because I, I think college wasn't really enough. University is more of an academic qualification and something that provides you um, with experience for the future to become more proactive to maybe set up um, my own business or whatever. The accommodation at Preston, um, it's not far from uh, Manchester, um, but I, you know, the reason I decided to um, stay in accommodation was, you know, it, at deaf schools, people had accommodation and you'd stay residentially, and I hadn't had that experience, but I, the first time in my life staying independently away from my parents and being responsible for cooking and all the other things that come with it. Um, you know, it was quite nerve-wracking, but I remember the first day going in and saying, well, hello, you know, my name's Dipti, but as time went on, I met deaf friends, hearing friends, and I really enjoyed the experience. The second year, I decided to move away from the accommodation um, back home because of ex expenses and so on. Um, but the second year uh, and, and third year and so on, I, I, well, in the end, I did decide to stay. I did have the option to go back home in the second year, but it was worth me having that experience and staying and, and learning how to cook and clean and manage my own finances through those three years. And it was an invaluable experience. And now looking back, I think it was really worthwhile. Um, it was something I was able to achieve independently. So the work placement at university, um, basically I studied at the same time as carrying out a, a work placement. So I was a membership secretary uh, of UCLan. They've got a deaf, the, the deaf community have their own uh, social club and it's Deaf British Sign Language Club. So they set up events and invite people along. They also invite students, deaf and hearing students, who maybe are studying deaf studies, BSL degrees and so on. And there's a mixture of various people who come to the events and they, they put things on over Christmas and Halloween and so on and it's a great um, social opportunity. And I did that for two years. It was the first year and the second year and I really enjoyed that experience and I learned an awful lot from it um, that you know, helped me in the future. And the British Deaf Association, um, I was able to go to conferences and events. Um, I volunteered to go to those events and I really enjoyed that as well. I was able to switch off from my studies um, and do some volunteering work as well and also with the Deaf Na Na National Deaf Children's Society as well. Um, so I was able to do fun activities with the children and let go of my stress and also supporting deaf students as well. In the second year of my degree, the education module that I was studying, I had to go on a work placement, and um, that was great. And I learned skills for improving services in London, and also um, various projects, creating deaf awareness materials uh, for local areas so people could become more deaf aware and that was part of my deaf studies. So in the future it means, you know, I'm able to, I've got the skills to set up my own business. Um, the BME, Black Minority and Ethnic um, Coordinator, and that's linked with Deaf Education Advocacy Fellowship and that's something I've been involved with since last year. The Deaf BME um, community event that I'm, the group that I'm involved with, we basically have um, events. Hearing people have BME groups, um, but it's partly about educating and also um, raising awareness as well and influencing people and being a role model like I am here today. And also with um, interpreting solutions with an agency, I've been involved with deaf mentoring. So if there's any students who've been through university and um, they've had difficulties or whatever and they've needed the confidence building or maybe they haven't been particularly organised and they wanted help with organisation skills or whatever, maybe it's the first time um, they've been in that situation and had to deal with these things. 
it's something that I've been able to work with them on and um, assist them with. And also it's very important not only to focus on studies but also to look at work placements as well because it's very good for your CV and you know it enables you to look back and see what you have been able to achieve and what you've been able to manage over the over the course of your studies. So now my dream really in terms of the future um, I'd like to I'm going to be starting a BSL teacher training course in September and also a work placement teaching BSL um, and I'm doing a portfolio at the moment for that. So I'm studying and also working at Deaf Education Advocacy Fellowship, uh, the Deaf BME group, training, interpreting solutions and deaf mentoring. So I've been doing lots of um, different activities. In my experience over time, I've built up confidence and been able to um, influence other people and um, pass on the, the skills that I've learned. And also, I think I'll be able to achieve becoming a BSL tutor because of the, the, the qualifications and the skills that I've achieved over the uh, past few years. Really, in terms of um, courses, I think really it's um, important for, the, for hearing people to learn BSL as well. And I also applied um, for professional graduate diploma, graduate diploma education. in education in September. And that's basically to become a deaf studies lecturer in the future. So it means, you know, I've been able to build things up um, over time and also work. So I've, I've learned an awful lot through voluntary and also through my studies. Uh, thanks very much for listening.